simple goal, peace in the city of Baltimore. Sick and tired of the blood pouring in Baltimore, a grassroots movement started a year ago, and this weekend it's the one year anniversary of the Baltimore ceasefire movement. WMAR 2 News, Eddie Kadem is live at a rally in Edmondson and Edgewood now with this movement and how it's evolved. Eddie? Jamie, it just started with a small group of people and it's grown into a city-wide initiative. You can't go far without seeing somebody that's heard of ceasefire or hear somebody talking about it. I'm with one of the organizers right now, Lawrence Manning. Lawrence, did you know that it was going to be this big a year ago when this all started? Well, no, not for myself because um, just over a few months ago, um, I got involved because my son was murdered. And um, that, you know, made me get involved so you know that's why I'm here I mean I'm, I'm, I'm here for our kids you know I'm here for our kids and here in Baltimore City you know and someone needs to step up for them I'm here to step up for them you know and if anybody else want to come on board come on board we got a lot of events planned this weekend what's what's happening here at 530 I know uh, the rain's coming in a little bit but a lot of people are expected yeah a right? lot of people are expected to be here um, we have tents we're setting up, so in case it do rain, we're good. We have a lot of resources for the neighborhood. Um, anybody that's living in the neighborhood can come by and check out the resources if they're looking for, uh, you know, uh, housing or medical assistance or whatever. We have the resources to send them right to the people that they need to talk to. Real quick, one sentence, a message that you want to send out to people in the city in the 72 hours you're asking for peace. I'm asking for peace. Come on, folks, we can do this, not just for the 72 hours, but let's see how long we can take it, okay? Come on, Baltimore. It's love. Share the love. All right, you heard it here, and we'll be out here tonight as people come out and get reaction to what this movement is doing for communities across the city of Baltimore. In West Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. All right.